The iPad has a great easy annotation feature that I'm going to show you with Ready Math. The first thing I'm going to do is open up my teacher toolbox. As you can see, I'm already logged in. I'm going to tap math. I'm going to go to fifth grade. And I'm going to find the item that I'm going to annotate over top of. Um, with this, I'll go into lessons. The, how about the powers of 10 here? I'll do the student version and tap on open. At this point, it's really just a PDF that is on the website and we really can't annotate over top of it. However, if we tap the little square with an arrow pointing up and go into our options, you're going to see, if you scroll over, a create PDF. Now, if I go all the way over and tap more, and then use the three lines on the right, I can actually drag that up to the top. I do that because I'm going to use this often as a teacher. I want to be able to annotate over this. And oh, did the wrong one. So I want the create PDF at the top, not the print. OK, and now if I tap on create PDF, it automatically creates the PDF for me. And you'll also see in the upper right hand corner, I now have the markup. So if I want to mark up this, I can use my marker. If I tap it twice, I will get some different line thicknesses and the opacity. Over here, I can select my colors. And now you can see, I can go in, I can annotate over top of this. I can use my highlighter tool to highlight parts of the directions. And I can use a pencil tool to write my name at the top. Um, over here, I have the color wheel. Color wheel, I can select any of these colors to use. And I also have a lasso tool. So if I want to lasso something and move it around, I can do that. And finally, I have an erase tool where I can just tap on things to erase that. Um, so. I have all these tools, plus there's a little plus in the bottom right hand corner where I can actually put some shapes in. If I want to use the, the tool there, I can um, have comments built in. And if I tap the markup again, you can see that oh, you can see that now I can move it around and it stays with this. So if I tap markup again, I can go in and I can annotate over here click on markup and now it stays right there. When I'm finished, I'll click done. I give the option to just delete the PDF and move on or I can save the file to my cloud. So if I save it to my cloud drive, I could then share it with students, put it on my website and they can access that at a later time. So that is the easy annotate feature on the iPad.